Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. It was an interesting start to the work week, to say the least, across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. The day started with a little bit of rain, but then around the lunch hour, the snow moved in, and frankly, the snow stuck with us through the entirety of the afternoon, the evening, and some of us are still talking about a little bit of light snow as we head into the overnight. But as interesting as the snow is, I really don't think it's the most interesting part of our day. What is the most interesting part of our day is the fact that we actually saw lake effect snow across North Alabama and seeing it on this small of a scale was actually something that's really new to me. Normally when I think of lake effect snow, I think about the Great Lakes, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, New York, those states talking about massive amounts of lake effect snow, but it's exactly what we saw this afternoon across North Alabama. Winds out of the northwest came across Wheeler Lake, pulled all that warmer and more moist air off of Wheeler Lake, came to the other side. Those winds continued to move to the southeast from the northwest. and. Well, that means those on the other side of Wheeler Lake got a lot of snow. When that moisture that was collected fell out, it fell out in the form of snow. Our first stop is going to be Union Hill, right on top of Brindley Mountain. Angela sent me this fantastic photo of the snow really accumulating out in her backyard. And given the fact that this small community of Union Hill is right on top of Brindley Mountain, it came as no surprise to me that the snow was accumulating as quickly as it did. And then I got this video from Rain and a wrap. Look at that snow really coming down. Looks like a scene out of the middle or end of December across the Midwest, not accumulating on the roadway. Certainly some good news there, but both of these viewers texted me their weather photos and you can do the same. If you have any photos of the snow, the numbers right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. I really would love to see it. Most of us are dry at this point, but we are talking about a little bit of light snow across Jackson, DeKalb and Marshall counties, and that's going to remain possible for at least the next couple of hours. As we head into Tuesday, we begin to see a bit of a change in our weather pattern, that area of low pressure that brought all of the snow begins to move to the New England states. Now, while that brings an end to the precipitation, our winds are still going to be out of the north northwest, and that means we're going to continue to pull in a lot of that really cold air from Canada and the Great Lakes, and that means our temperatures stay well below average. Look at today's high temperatures climbed climbed into the low and mid 40s. These high temperatures actually occurred between about midnight and one o'clock this morning. Since then, temperatures have fallen back off into the lower 30s, 34 right now in Scottsboro, 33 Huntsville International, Athens and Decatur, Russellville and Moulton, both sitting at 28 degrees. We continue to fall off as we head into the overnight. I've got a low right around 25 degrees, but pay attention to the fact that we're going to hold on to that northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. That means wind chills when you head out the door to where it get the kids on the school bus upper teens and lower 20s. I think all of the winter gear is certainly going to be necessary. It does look like our temperatures are going to climb into the afternoon, but we're only going to finish the day in the lower 40s. So I think you're going to want to keep at least the heavy coat handy through the entirety of the afternoon. Wednesday morning will be cold once again. I've got a low right around 25 degrees, lower 50s on Wednesday, more cloud cover. Our next opportunity for rain comes to the Tennessee Valley on Thursday. More sunshine as we head into the weekend, 49 on Saturday, 53 on Sunday, Connor. Well, Jordan, I think it was last week or so we were talking about bringing out the long sleeves for the morning runs. Tomorrow we're gonna need like two long sleeves and a hat. A, a heavy sweatshirt and a hat at the minimum. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Well, we